This is a tutorial on solving a system of n linear equations using matrix inversion. So let's uh, use a specific example. We'll consider a <coughs> system of three equations. Suppose we have 1 times v1 plus 3v2 plus 0v3 is equal to 1. And we have 2v1 plus 4v2 plus 0v3 is equal to 2. And 0v1 plus 0v2 plus 1v3 is equal to 3. Now we want to put this in matrix form where we can pull out the coefficients in front of the three unknowns, v1, v2, v3. And we will write 1, 3, 0, 2, 4, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is equal to 1, 2, 3. So when we multiply, a 2 by 2 matrix, so this is 2 rows by 2 columns, and this is a, I'm sorry, 3. This is a 3 row by 1 column. Then what we get is we get a 3 by 1. All right, and these two here, the, the 2 by 3 and the 3 by 1, these must equal in order to do matrix multiplication. So if we had multiplied a 3 by 3 by a 3 by 2, the result would have been a 3 by 2. So, um, and <clears throat> we multiply by going across and then down. So, and for this first um, row, we would have 1 times v1 plus 3 times v2 plus 0 times v3. And that's exactly what we have here. And we proceed for the other two equations. Okay. So, so far that's just how we set up uh, a system of equations using matrix uh, form. So now let's rewrite this using um, names for these, for these matrices and vectors. So we're going to use G for the matrix and we'll use V with the, an arrow bar over it because this is like, this is a vector. It's a n by 1. And on the right, we'll use s. And that's also a vector. Now, in matrix math, there is no such thing as uh, matrix division. So we might want to say, hey, let's just divide by g on both sides. And we could isolate uh, v and solve for our unknowns. But there is no division in matrix math. However, there is matrix inversion matrix inversion. All right, so, and we denote it as g of minus 1 is equal to the inverse of g. And we know it's the inverse if g inverse times g yields the identity matrix. All right, the identity matrix is 1's in the major diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And if that's the case, then what we would have, if we multiply both sides of our equation above by g inverse, as such, this g inverse times g is replaced by the identity matrix these all should be bold because they're matrices. It'll be I times V, vector V is equal to G 
inverse times s. And what is i times v? Well, if we have ones on the diagonal and zeros elsewhere, then we when we multiply that by vector v1, or v having elements v1 through v3, we get 0, or 1 times v1, plus 0 v2, plus 0 v3 for our first row. We get 0 v1 plus 1 v2 plus 0 v3 for the second row. And we get 0 v1 plus 0 v2 plus 1 v3 for the third row. And this gives us our vector v, v1, v2, v3. And therefore, therefore v can be found by simply determining what the inverse of g is and then multiplying that by s. So to do this, we must be able to invert a matrix. And this can be, it's simple, but it is uh, tedious, can be tedious, and we usually will not do it for anything larger than a, a 3 by 3. And the next video, I will uh, explain how you go about taking the inverse of the matrix G.